the pace of change is intense. Information will be key in, in how we manage business in the future. We're in an amazing time right now. How can I do what I did yesterday better today? Creativity is number one. We have got a great deal of opportunity and that's what's going to see us through. There's been a great deal of reckoning and we have survived this particular discontinuity and we have to be prepared to survive the next discontinuity. It's really changing the way the business is done. It's not status quo anymore. It's, it's all about how do we develop uh, you know, new business models. Our business in particular is not a business you pack up and move and displace overnight. This is a business that's founded on uh, years of, of working relationship. We're not making paper clips. This is a very complex, specialized business that we're in. What we've been doing is trying new things opening up new markets, opening up new capabilities, new business lines. And I think that's the edge that we have when we look forward, is that we are positioned against all the major segments. We play at every intersection point on the investment life cycle. No matter which direction it happens today, and I, I know we're looking for what it's going to look like, I don't have an answer to that. I don't think anybody really knows what shape these markets are going to take in the next few years. But I think the business model that we're trying to build is to get us on the stage so that when it does happen, we're there and we're available to service our clients. You know, this is the Big Bang. This is Woodstock and we, uh, City or I, am here for that moment. And I think as you have to look at it, this is the moment for opportunity. We're at a very interesting time for our clients. They're reacting to the new environment they're in. They're restructuring their balance sheets. They're redeploying capital into new areas. What we have to do uh, to be their bis best business partner uh, in an environment like this is to look beyond it. We get there by being the idea generator and the thought leader. They, they are looking for the next new thing, the next new efficiency, how they are going to continue reducing their costs, be more relevant to their customers, improve the efficiencies. What they're not stopping is innovation. But the challenges for us are really being able to adapt. They need us to be right there in the mix and doing the things that we've always done really well, which is to innovate and to invest in our business and to ensure that we're still um, you know, being successful and, and helping them to be successful. There are opportunities, and especially opportunities where we can work with government agencies um, and structure new types of deals, which we haven't done before, so it's also a very innovative time. If I were looking at my client right now, my most important client right now, uh, what I'd like to tell them is, I know, I'm in the situation is very difficult, but in the next 10 years, 20 years, if you look at the future, it's not just the owner, but also the owner, it's a very good future for us. How do we get from today to tomorrow? It's a good question. 20 years is difficult. Five or ten is easier. <laughs> Fifty years for me, let's see, um, if that would make me 90. 20, 29. 25 years down the road, we'll see a complete transformation of, of the way that we do business. 10 to 15 years down the line, the, all the other mechanisms, including some of the newer payment forms like cards, will have all evolved into mobile technology. If we can make mobile handsets, mechanisms for conducting everyday business, be it through near-field communication or through SMS-related transacting, that's ex exceptionally exciting for me. Where we need to get to in the next 10-15 years' time is figure out if we can have a presence as the backbone of all of these mobile payments and networks. The city of tomorrow is embedded deep within our client's organization. If we want to truly be the trusted advisor, we need to transcend and move to a place where we are completely transparent. The ability to deliver our platform is so much based on how we connect with our clients and the media and the aspects of social media and social networking and all the things in Web 2.0 are going to allow us to just really make those connections. To put your name to something and to be able to say in five years time, I worked on that, I delivered that and this is something that we can replicate. The city of tomorrow is even more driven by our clients than the one of today. City approaches opportunities 45 degrees forward. It leans into opportunities and we have to maintain that and we have to build that. But I think the organization is so just poised for the opportunities that we have and what we do today, we can just accelerate that.